Hey guys, we have a special interview on Love This City. I'm here with John Russell, the originator of the Night of the Living Dead. He's the writer. I'm going to ask him, you're going to see what I'm about to ask him. First of all, John, thanks for coming. Oh, my pleasure. I love being here in Toronto. So tell me a little bit about it. You're the originator. You wrote the Night of the Living Dead. You started the epic story and the theme and the concept, everything. Well, George Romero and I wrote the script together. I was the one that came up with the idea that they would be dead people in search of uh, human flesh, and that's what seemed to do the trick. I always say that zombies weren't very scary until we made them flesh eaters, and until you could become one. We kind of unwittingly uh, combined the werewolf or the vampire myths with the zombie myth. Before that, zombies just threw people against the wall, tried to strangle somebody, shambled around, weren't very scary. We made them scary. So tell me, what was your headspace writing about it, the zombie thing? What uh, was it? When, when we did the original script? Yeah. Well, we just wanted to make a movie that would really pay off the people to come to see horror films. We went to see every horror movie that came into town. Most of them were disappointing. Attack of the Giant Grasshopper, Attack of the Giant Caterpillar, all that kind of stuff. Every movie, and they had the same plot. The National Guard came in at the end and used flamethrowers and machine guns and got rid of whatever the monster was, whether it was a huge caterpillar or a praying mantis, whatever. That is really scary, guys. So here's the thing that people should remember. When you make a movie or write any story, do anything, you have to have the fans in mind. And that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to give the fans their money's worth stay true to our concept, make the characters behave like real people would if the dead did come back, and that's that was our whole goal, and I think that's what made the movie pay off. So now here's my question, it's more of a personal one, if you had an limited budget, doesn't matter who backed you guys up, what would be the concept for the zombies, what what can, what can would be the storyline, what would be the... Would you mean for a new zombie film? Something, yeah, just well, I, ha I have about five zombie scripts right now. Uh, all of them are different, and I think all of them are good. One of them's with a Hollywood company right now, Escape of the Living Dead, which my screenplay was developed into uh, a series of comic books that made the top ten nationally in the United States. We have a great cast ready uh, for it, and I'm hoping they'll greenlight it soon. Uh, that's one of them. And then, uh, well, there's no use trying to talk about all of them. It'd take too long. Okay, so the other thing is you actually give back a lot to the community and the people interested in this industry. We, you have a school or you teach people stuff? Uh, yeah, and, and even coming here to this zombie walk, you know, I do 10 or 12 conventions and zombie walks every year, and it's important to stay, again, stay in touch with the fans, have fun doing it. You saw us up on stage dancing, getting right into the act. You know, that's what we always do. If you can't have fun doing this, it is show business. If you can't have fun doing it, you shouldn't be doing it. We teach our students that. Russ Strider and I co-direct a movie-making program in Pennsylvania. We think it's one of the best in the country. And um, it's in Dubois Business College. And, and uh, our students are doing a great job, and we love doing that, too. So the last thing is, would you have this guy in one of your well, next films? Well, this guy right books? here, I couldn't figure out if he was like some kind of refugee from Fargo or what. I mean, those guys are grinding up corpses, now they're grinding up zombies. I don't know what's going on here. I'm afraid he'll get a hold of me and drag me right down into that thing with him, and then I'll be all ground up. Take care of him, man. we got to get this I'm wondering. I'm wondering, one, once, once he gets ground up into little pieces, is there any chance that those little pieces will come alive and <laughs> crawl all over the place and attack people? I wonder if he even knows that. See, only a writer would say that. John, thanks again so much. Take <laughs> care. You. Take Bye. care, guys. I love this city. Melissa's going to be next with Ross. More of the original guys of The Living Dead and this guy. Stay tuned.